Common sense is what tells us the world is flat. Albert Einstein said that, so I figure uncommon sense is best for us to look for. On the subject of flatness, let's lay down some flat colors. Flatter than the Florida skyline I've just about always been subject to. Let's step aside for a second. Some may tell you that this could not be done by you, that you might as well give up. You ain't no artist and you surely ain't no creative. Fold up your dreamy desires and get to the wheat mill where you should stay for the rest of your life. Let me give you a brief tutorial on dealing with such folk. First take the word ass, then as nearby as you can get it, take the word hold. Cause those two words to become closer and closer neighbors until they resemble a singular and familiar word. Take that word that now resides within your neural pathways and transmit its wavelengths toward the appropriate person or group of persons. An extra S is appropriate if a group is to be involved. Then move along and try your best to forget said temporal disturbances. And there you have it. Now, let's get painting, pain the longers. Alright, so this is really why I like to utilize tracing paper for sketching. You can place your image however you want on the canvas, then mask and tape that sucker down. Don't get me wrong though, there are benefits in not using tracing paper, such as when you make mistakes, those mistakes sometimes guide the painting in a new and interesting direction you might not have thought of. By the way, try not to make the same mistake I've made a hundred times and probably will a hundred more. I like to make a little check mark with the tracing paper to make sure it's laying on the right side. I've done huge ones before that took hours to do only to find that it had been laying the wrong way and didn't transfer at all. Most times I just trace the outside lines at first. You may not see the full benefit this time around, but you will get a glimpse of its usefulness with the eye part of the painting. I will only trace the outside line of the blue section of the face. For the blue, I'm going to use pool blue, one of my favorite apple barrel colors ever. I have used it as a flat blue sky color in more of my old school paintings than I can count or remember. Something about it. It's the perfect cartoony sky color in my opinion. I thought it'd be good fit for our bird's face. We can paint the entire shape blue, then trace the eye over the blue. This can make it tighter as well as save time trying to paint around the eye. Again, it might not be a big deal this time around, but in more complicated images the method really shines. Let's use apple red to paint in the eye. I'm going to darken the blue paint just a little by adding some of the red to it. I want to put a darker ring around the eye, avoiding painting the corners of the eye. Now I will transfer the eye pupil over the red. Put some black and white paint down. Let's add just a little white to the black to make a dark gray for the base color of the bee. I'm going to add just a tinge of blue to it as well. Everything is going to look a little dark, but that's okay. In the next part, we will be doing a lot of highlighting. After laying the base color for the beak, I'm going to transfer the beak line. Mix some orange and red together, adding just a little water to help it flow better. Also add some dark brown to take it down a few more shades. Realizing this might not be very visible on camera, I'm going to go ahead and do a background using yellow, white, and blue. Make any type of background you want. Originally I was just going to do a flat pool blue background, but I changed my mind, choosing to go lighter for more contrast because of the footage.
Let's do a light gray for the chest area and a dark gray for the wing. I'm going to use the same dark gray for the corner of the eye. And using the liner brush, I'm going to use the same color for the eye pupil. To quote a man, waiting is a form of passive persistence. So be passively persistent as I ready the next video in our series. Much love to you, pain alongers. I'll see you in the next episode.